Hello, I everyone. I think it's because... How y'all doing? Hello! Good. <laughs> Brett, if you could interlock toes with one person, and it's not Masay, who would it be? Uh, hmm. Uh, honestly, it'd probably be Jesse. Um, I but mean, yeah, he, I mean, I knew that. It, but, I was, I wasn't gonna say anything. But uh, it would only be during like Magfest after we've had like a couple of margaritas. I would be like, yeah, I'm down. Yeah, under the table. Oh, okay. Let's go for yeah, it. yeah, yeah. But scandalous. Like, yeah. But part under of it is table. it needs to be under the table with other people around. So like we yeah. know we're doing it, but like they yeah, don't know, yeah, and yeah, so yeah. it's kind of naughty. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Speaking yeah. of this conversation, happy Pride. <laughs> Happy Pride! <laughs> Happy Pride! I'm wearing my uh, wearing my wearing my Pride colors this month. Big shout out to Mariah for the quick uh, turnaround on my lovely little new coat. And I am going to sit down because apparently my back really freaking hurts all of a sudden. What the heck? I so, know. Yeah, I took some medicine, so hopefully that'll kick in because I'm getting a bit of a bit of a bit of a back pain right now uh all right let's get to it let's jump in um i'll get all the sounds and music get you guys over the map because we kind of left things in a, in a bit of a tricky scenario and then we're gone uh -huh. for two weeks yeah exactly uh last we left off you guys had just left the smuggler's den um you were getting some things some tools some supplies together uh you went over to a tavern you had what was it? Uh, was it? it oh, it was no. It was that all you could eat? Uh, you you did the did a fish and chip challenge, and Buddy oh, nearly got yeah. yeah Buddy nearly we got did sick do that, from yes. that. Yeah, I, uh, Buddy is actually starting with inspiration today, so that's gonna be great. Nice. And uh, Buddy. <laughs> he ate Buddy literally ate his weight in fish and chips. Uh, Inspired to never eat again. Never. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> Hellebor and Dash had a lovely little 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 date night over in the hotel room, just watching some trashy TV and having some fish and chips on the bed, kick, kicking footsies, you know, kicking footsies up in the air while you guys, you know, what I'm talking about when you're like cute, leaning up on your shoulders and you're just watching TV and just kicking your footsies up in the air. So that, that's what I imagined what happened uh, during during the date night. Uh, and Eli, you went ahead and did a little, little, little repair work, uh, over at the, uh, the, the magic shop, got the, got everything nice and fixed. And then you all had to sneak back into the smuggler's den, uh, the an outside area completely riddled with security guards, uh, because apparently there had been a murder that has happened in the area. What? Who knows what that happened there? <laughs> what happened? Uh-oh. Yeah. They need better security in this town. Right? And the only evidence was a trashed VR set that was found discarded on the bridge. That's so wild. I don't feel safe in this town anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well... I should get out of there. Wait a minute. Well, you did. Well, you did, and that's kind of why we're here today. All right. So, I have been waiting for a long-ass time for this. We're just gonna. I'm a little chilly. Oh yeah. Oh, no. oh yeah. You're gonna. You're all gonna feel a little chilly. Uh. So let's. Uh. First of all, I'm gonna go and pause here. Uh. While we switch over to the map. So you guys have teleported to the known location of where, um, where Loretta had teleported to. Uh. You guys are currently looking for an ancient, uh, relic. Uh, uh, this amulet of the deep one that is going for a lot of credit. So if you do manage to get this back, uh, that's gonna be a <laughs> that's gonna be a good good notch on your on your belt. Uh, you guys, of course, are looking at this because Piper's Piper's papa, Piper's papa is also looking for uh, this amulet, and uh, so that I know that stoked the interest of one Hellebore. My daddy. If your dad's looking for this, then what the heck does? Oh yeah, and vi like Victor's interested, and like the 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 talons are now, which we now know there's multiple of are interested in this thing, and uh, so much so that uh, Loretta had to retreat over to this location, and that's where the problem lies. Uh, for our viewers at home and a couple of our fortunate folks with dark vision. Uh, you will see a, uh, black and white room, uh, but for the majority of our party, uh, they are currently looking at a black screen and just staring at their token because it is a pitch 
black, dark room. Uh, you saw a little bit of remnant lights from over here in this general direction of where the teleporter was, and that had dropped. Uh, you are quickly realizing that this room is without power, <laughs> and you are currently, as you can kind of feel the metal floor around you, how your voice reverberates, the pound of the pounding of like snow and hail from outside of the room just beating wherever the hell you are. You can just hear it constantly flowing in, and the chill that is now sinking in. So. Uh, we are definitely going to get put you guys over in high stress, which means I'm going to start. I'm going to roll initiative. Um, really quick before that happens, yes. Brett. Yes. Uh, for some reason, the long rest didn't reset my spells or my divine sense. Well, that is stinky. Give me a second. I, I have zero out of four <laughs> level that one spells. And that's not, no. <laughs> I say leave it where it lies. No. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's D and D players right there. No, <laughs> it's mine. Damn it! All right. Okay, okay. So here we go. High stress laughs and curious curios chat. I've said hi. I've been saying high stress since phase one. Since the offline games, you guys hooked on to it as a curious curios thing. Well, I guess some of the players also did as a curious curious thing. Anyways, uh, so there's there there's going to be a reason why I am rolling this. So currently you are it, and you can feel it immediately as you teleport into this room, by the way. Uh, this room is extremely cold. So the first thing I want to do uh, now that I we have rolled everyone's initiative before we see what everyone is doing. Um, so this room is considered an extreme cold environment. What does that mean? Uh, so every round, uh, you are going to need to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, if you fail the constitution saving throw, you take one ordeal. What is an ordeal? An ordeal is a minus one penalty to your proficiency bonus that can only be removed from taking a long rest or from spells like greater restoration. Uh, long rests remove one ordeal. So, and ordeals stack. So if you fail these constitution saving throw multiple times, you begin to get these ordeals just start stacking over at you. I will let you know at six ordeals, you will fall unconscious until you complete oh a long oh. rest. So you will be- Team what? Isla. <laughs> you will be completely <laughs> unconscious. Uh, let's see, every round while unconscious, uh, that while you are still within the, uh, it gets worse, uh, every round that you are unconscious while you are in the extreme cold environment counts as a failed death saving throw, which means, uh, that if you are unconscious for three turns in this room, uh, you are dead. You freeze to death at that point. So... Uh, yeah, so that is all the information I can give you at this point. Uh, okay. you are, <laughs> you are on the clock now. So let us begin. And I think honestly, okay, I think we're no music yet. I think we're just going to have this be the, the pound, just hearing the pounding of the snow and hail from outside the silence that has fallen over the room. Now I will unpause. Uh, we're going to start with Buddy. Now, Buddy, good news for you. You have night vision, so you can see what's going on in this room. So, um, what, 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 what are you doing? Like, what's, you know, feel free to ask what, like, other people are doing or how others are responding as well. But the, the floor is yours and the round is yours as well. Um, oh, uh, but for, no, no, we're good. First round. You know what, guys? You just got here. No constitution saving throws needed this round. You're, you're, thanks, you're, bud. You're uh, Generous. But, uh, you're so welcome. yeah, so yeah, buddy. Um, I think the first thing he's gonna do is pull out one of the torches, <laughs> and I use druid car craft to light it. Okay. So just go. All right. So that's and, gonna be your, your action yeah. there. Uh, we'll do a 40-20. Uh, let me go ahead and also make sure I get a little nice little torch light. Uh, good news for you is this counts as a as a as a nice little uh, a nice little source of of heat. Uh, not a big one, but it does provide a, a little bit of heat 
for you. Okay. And then I'm just going to really quickly boop, boop, boop. Just making sure our color intensity is Oh, that's Oh, I love that. Okay, here we go. Ooh, now I can see. bless. Pretty. And then I'm going to put it in my teeth. But hold it by like the end, so I'm not gonna burn myself, and then just kind of dash over to here, okay. Um, and then look to see if anything is turned on or if any of this is plugged in or anything like that. One moment, please. I'm so excited for this. Uh, so at the moment you go to the computer panels, you start looking around, immediately you discover there is no power to the computer panel. That was completely a, out, it's a completely blank screen, everything's off. I'm gonna rush over. Same thing here. Well, can I make that? Hold on. Hold on. Do, 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 15, and then. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I rush over here. Like yeah, the same one. Good. Yep, same thing. Same. It's completely blank. There's no light Hold sources. On. I'm gonna point to the door, but then end my turn because I don't think I've got anything else I can do. Okay. Uh, do I have to end my turn by doing the little thing? Wait, yes, please. Thing. Upper right Good corner, quality. cross swords. All right, Isla, you can finally see a little bit of light source because you do not have night vision. So oh, you, you, you you originally arrived in the cold, frigid room, and then you just see that you see the torch light up, and now you're just watching as like is it is um is Buddy like running around like all fours with a torch in his mouth? Yeah, I, I think he was doing that before, and so now he stood up, and you can just see this like light glow coming off <laughs> the top of his head. <laughs> <laughs> it's all off. Uh, Isla, it's your turn. Ah, uh, okay. So I'm going to cast a. Uh... Well, this room isn't doesn't look that big. The torch pretty much uh, lights up everything. So. I'm going to do, what is it called? Spiritual Swiftness on myself as a bonus action. Okay. Well, uh, give me 45. Okay. Uh, let me see. Jesus Christ. This is terrifying. Uh, and it's 20. Hmm. 40. I'm going to inspect the door. Okay. She's going to run over here and inspect the door. Tell me how you inspect the door. Uh, she's going to look at the crack, see what it's made of, see if there's any weak point in it at all, or, like, something that can be moved on it. Understood. Uh, go ahead and give me... Submit these changes and also grant you the spiritual swiftness. Okay. Uh, give me an investigation check. And this will be your action. Okay. Um, so as you begin to feel around, like, your hands will start to touch over at the door. And um, just, it's a solid, like, this hard metal door. You immediately feel the chilling cold uh, that, the, that, the, that the metal has just continuously held all this cold energy. And as you kind of, like, look around, the door itself seems familiar. Uh, normally doors like this uh, usually equipped on ships or, uh, out, you know, not, um, like, like ships or small outposts. Um, the doors are supposed to automatically open. It's not a manual thing. Um, but this door does not. And it's probably because there is no power to the room. Oh boy. <laughs> cool. Uh, well, that's all I can really do for now, so that's me. All right. Logan. So, hmm. I'm trying to figure out a way to best describe this. So, you know how in <laughs> like a <laughs> Like a video game or something like that where you're playing mm -hmm. where there's always that one uh, mission where the power's out or something's out or you need to find the, I don't know, some terminal or something. And the way they make you do it is by either following some sort of pipe or wire or anything like that where is there anything I can see mm -hmm. that would either associate with the door or any like this thing my bobber down so here that, or that, this. Logan vision. Yeah, that's that's very interesting. 
Um, using using my uh, uh, actual skill. Yes, uh, that's very interesting. So you I mean as you're kind of like looking around the room, you'll see just a variety of assorted wires, pipes, and exactly things that you're pointing out that you're uncertain what it is, but uh, make an investigation check. Sure. Okay. This will be your, your action. <laughs> All right. So as you're kind of like looking around the room and, and, tr and trying to inspect these things, um, you will notice Ah, yes. Uh, so as you're, like, looking around the room and you're just, like, and as I mentioned, there's these pipes everywhere, just chunks of metal. I mean, this is a room built by an engineer, not by just some, just some, some common person who's trying to flip a light switch. Uh, but you might be onto something there. You're, you're kind of, like, looking around the room and you're noticing over here that when it comes to the wires, quote unquote, uh, there seems to be some really heavy wires that are, oh, you can't see over on that side, great. Uh, there seems to be some really like heavy wires that are like coming up over here and finding its way underneath this uh, blanketed area. Yeah, um, Logan will move to here and begin to sort of like track it. Uh, since I have dark vision, I guess I can probably see at least some of what's going on with that. And uh, sort of follow it along and see where it leads. Okay, so yeah, you're and you do have dark vision, so you do see it, and you'll you'll see that the big heavy wires uh, kind of go underneath this this clothed object, and it it definitely has some 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 height and weight to it. And this this object seems to be taller than you. Can I pull? Well, uh, before I do anything, can I? Uh see if removing the blanket will in any way cause trouble or you know will cause trouble or you can make another investigation check as a bonus action um but then that will be the end of your round so it's ultimately okay. up to you or you can use your bonus action to take the cloth off i'll take the cloth off all Screw right it. so you just pull the cloth out and as you you will see this heavy machinery with a couple of computer panels on, over on it uh, and you will see, did, 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 give me one second. Quickly draw this. You will see a faint flickering uh, on the screen. Apparently this machine is still on. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to, uh, I'm not good with technology. Uh, anyone else? Yeah, hang on. And then if it's the end, that that should be. It the is the end, end of my turn. Round. What a what a convenient next turn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, Eli. Um, currently, you're you will see, you know, fortunately, uh, the light glow from a screen over here in a very darkened corner uh, from what your sight can see. Eli will uh, shiver as he walks over. He'll uh, rub his hands together and then place them on his chest. I would like to cast Prestidigitation and warm my clothes, uh, like on my torso. To All right. Try the to warmth, stay off some of the heat. Yeah. So the warmth uh, provided uh, by the spell, uh, you'll you'll feel as the cold kind of washes away a little bit. It, it provides some temporary some temporary heat for you, kind of like some temporary insulation. Um, but you you slowly begin to feel the cold creeping back in, uh, but you do believe it'll stave off uh, the need for a constitution save for a round. Got it. That is uh, your action. You have a bonus action, some movement remaining. I'm able to use my bonus to investigate this thing. Uh, you sure? Out what it is. Yeah, you sure can. So you kind of like walk over here as close as you can. Uh, go ahead and make a, give me, I need a general intelligence check, please. Very good. So as you're like looking around and you, you, you can kind of see from the faint glow, the heavy wires that are going in, in along with the assorted console over there. Um, 
you feel confident that doo -doo 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 -doo, you can buy that you can turn on this computer uh and it will it, it it's it, it it is a sorry i'm all over the place uh, as you're kind of like looking around over at this machine um and how all the wires are there you feel very confident that this is definitely a power management station for the room uh and it's currently in sort of like a an emergency mode uh right now and uh it is just it's currently not on but you feel confident that you can just turned on and gets gives get some power to the room at a power station here i can i can do something and give me a second and you can do that within the same uh same room i will do so all right do you need any help sure just stay out of the way <laughs> just don't touch anything okay oh. i will not all right so with that Second. Psst. You'll watch as the lights sort of like flicker on in the room, but it sparks just, just, just a little bit. Just a, it, it's a very, it's a very like, I would say, give me one second. Very dull light, but it, but it, it does provide a little bit of a, a glow within the room. Um, but it currently is in sort of like in, in emergency mode. Uh, buddy, you'll you'll watch as the computers sort of start to flicker on as well, gaining a little bit of power. What we did just worked. Uh, you will you'll see on the screen uh, low power mode. Uh, a warning of low power mode will be uh, on there. Don't get too excited. I'm not sure I can do more. Something happened here. It's in low power mode. All right, Dash. Um, we are still freezing, correct? Correct. <clears throat> okay. Um, even though we've got light, here's I have a question. Yeah. So if I wanted, I want to use my divine sense to look past the door, basically. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'd also like to light a torch. Could I sort of sidle up over here mm -hmm. and like? light my torch on buddy's torch i'll allow that as a bonus action as a bonus action fantastic so yeah dash is going to do that while activating his divine sense and sort of taking a look around but specifically looking in this direction all right uh go ahead and activate the divine sense on your character sheet um mm -hmm. so we can see it in the chat i click eat it all right as an action you can take good or evil until the end of the next round you can sense anything uh affected by the hollow spell or even the location of any celestial fiend uh, good news for you, as you detect from beyond the door, uh, you do not sense any presence. Doesn't seem like anything, well, anything like Talon is past the door, at least. Good. Yeah, you, you don't detect any, uh, tal you know, any uh, uh, Ganymedean slime presences, but also, from the normal intent of the Divine Sense, uh, you don't detect any sources anything uh, beyond the door. Okay. That's my turn. Uh, <sighs> she's looking around. You just, you see like it's chattering a little bit. So what's the plan here? Okay. He's just kind of rubbing his little appendages together. Well, we need to get out of this room because it's freezing. Right. Isla, stand aside. <laughs> Raise the slave. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work, Pinchy. It's thick. Watch me. Hello, boys. You, you can too. try. Oh, it's fucking cold. <sighs> I'll say shivering. He'll... Just trying to see what else is in here. He'll try pulling the tarp off of whatever this is. <sighs> Uh, you'll look over as you pull the tarp off. Um, this will be a, a, a bonus action to do. You'll pull the tarp off, and all you'll see are just some some empty crates. N nothing seems to be within there. Uh, sorry. Oh, I'm. Oh no. I apologize. Oh my gosh. It has been so long. As you pull the blankets off and you start looking in the boxes, you'll find a series of heavy winter clothing. 
fitting all body types. What the fuck? <laughs> this will allow you oh to maintain your body temperature within extreme within the extreme cold that is out there. <laughs> oh, I was literally about to be like, nope, no clothes. Yep. Uh, Guys, I don't see anything in here. Just your sweet, beautiful skin out in the world. <laughs> in in <laughs> addition, notes. in addition, you will find two greater potions of healing. Oh hell yeah. Bless. Coat. I use my action to put on one of the coats. Yeah, it's just this big, heavy coat. And as you just spend your action just putting it on, it's easy to put all this on. Uh, yeah, you immediately feel warmer. You think, you, you, you think you're going to be okay in the... Even though it's like so cold out here, you're you're feeling good. It's it's holding you back a little bit. Uh, and then I pocket the two potions. How <laughs> many sets are in there? Oh, it's 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 like it's it's ready for like a full group. It's enough for everybody. It's it's just it's like a it's like a storage crate of of warm clothes. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. That was a quick disconnection. Uh, to yeah, answer, yeah, yeah. To answer your question. Uh, of how many coats there are, uh, there seems to be a full set of uh, uh, of clothing in there, like a storage crate of clothing. Um, so it's enough for everybody. Make a shoot. Oh, no. Buddy, you already have fur. <laughs> uh, did, you, did I disconnect again? Uh, just FYI, just checking. You're good. No, you're Not, good. No. Unless you said unless unless you said something else really exciting after yes, there's enough coats for everybody. Oh uh, no no no, I didn't. But to be clear, I, it is. Yes, it is like it hasn't been touched. None are missing. Uh, correct. Okay. I picked the red one to match my other coat. I... Hey guys, there's coats over here. Please, oh god, cover yourselves. As you can me. see, see from Hellborn. All right, buddy. Uh, as you're holding on to the torch, uh, you'll quickly see the cold will just sort of. One second. We'll just sort of. <laughs> uh, just burn out your torch. What? <laughs> okay. Do I have to make a con save? Uh, nope, you're good. You can uh, spend an action to relight the torch if you'd like. No, I'll, I'll run over towards the, the clothing. Okay. Uh, well, mm, it, to analyze this, is that a full action? To analyze the... Uh... To look at the screen? Yeah. Uh, so, boop, 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 boop. yes, that will take an action to kind of like look around there. Um, I will allow a bonus action, but that will in, in, in require a uh, investigation at a disadvantage. I'll do, I'll do that as a bonus action just to feel like... Okay. Double look over, but his his main attention's over at the box of clothing for sure. Okay. Uh, okay. Is it a investigation? Do you say? Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and like investigate around the system a little bit. Okay. Oh, I rolled the wrong round. Wrong right. What? If you want to take the seven, I'd mind. Uh, no. Go ahead and control click. I'll have you re-roll. Yep. Okay. There it is. Uh, so you'll kind of like look around. Um. The only thing I can tell you is that there is a command prompt over on the screen, but you're uncertain what exactly <sighs> needs to be be entered. He sees a couple of his whiskers, like get like little icicles, and then he goes, "There's something on the screen. Control, control prompt. Someone else look at it." Rushes over towards the clothing, hops over, <laughs> Just and runs over. Uh, uh, on a big old blanket. Yeah, the <sighs> tor the torch was very fortunate enough to um, was very was fortunate enough to provide you with warmth, so you don't need to make a Constitution save this round. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, he's gonna throw on the clothing. He's gonna turn around, kind of like I imagine like a big old hood and just kind of a big old. Like, yeah. It looks like one of those little kids, you know, when you stick a kid in a really <laughs> yeah. warm kind of little like uh, a hooded How outfit. How are you gonna walk like that? <laughs> oh, don't worry, most of it's me. I mean, it's summer back where I'm from, so I was molting. Okay, this is much better. You look like you're gonna waddle. Like, give me, give me a good spin. I'm not gonna give you a spin. All right, I'm comfortable. Focus on surviving. You look like a baby with a full diaper. Go look, go look into that door. I don't know what. Focus. Turn <laughs> <laughs> away from her. I think that's uh, all I can do there because he's my bonus action in action. All right. Isla, I do require a constitution saving throw from you. 
Well, all right. Hey. Uh, six is insufficient, and you'll just feel the cold begin to take over you. So oh, just... Isla hates this. Isla, Isla, Isla's not happy. Oh, God. Cool. All right. I shall all right. Uh, can I put on? Can I put on a coat for uh, as a bonus action? Uh, as a no, no, it'd have to be an action. God. Okay. Uh, yeah, Isla's immediately gonna just run over here. I have the wrong thing selected. There we go. She's immediately gonna run over here and throw on a coat. She she is very small, very frail, and she is not happy. She throw on that coat so fast, and she's gonna, like, take just a second to curl into a little ball and try her damnedest to warm up uh and she's also just so that it is uh out of the way she's gonna bonus action spiritual armor herself maybe there's some warmth in that (laughs) maybe spiritual energy is warm uh one moment please Mm mm-hmm oh that's armor Actually, I'm looking for for something just real quick. Ah, there we go. Ah, there we go. Perfect. It worked. Hooray! Hooray! Hooray for me, not hooray for you. You've got uh, oh. perfi- you've got a plus two bonus to proficiency now. Oh, cool. Yeah, your proficiency dropped by one because of one stack of ordeal. Cry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, uh, and that that's all you needed to do? Yep, that's all I need to do. So you can, uh, okay. if you'd like to yeah. end the turn, you may. Um, Isla is going to, like, she, she she's, like, curled up into a little ball, but she's gonna, like, duck waddle right here as she prepares to guidance Eli next round. <laughs> Okie dokie. One moment. Change. Ah. Okay. Uh, next up is Logan. So I need to roll Constitution. Uh, yes, I do need you to roll a Constitution saving throw. Save yar 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 Constitution. I'll be fine. <laughs> oh, wow! Never right. say that, my dude. dude. Constitution's my lowest. I I knew I was screwed. So like, it's fine. <laughs> uh, you'll begin to feel the chill fall over you a little bit as you're starting to get very cold. Uh, Logan does not at all appear cold. He is. Even if he's cold, he's not going to let you know. This is, yeah, he's fine. He is mm. simply mm. standing here uh, mm. looking over mm. uh, Eli's work. Mm. Give me a deception check. <laughs> he was just going to say. <laughs> it was like a comic strip. <laughs> like how Logan sees himself versus how everyone else sees him. You are, <laughs> you are <laughs> visibly... You are I'm fine. It's fine. I don't... You're visibly shaking. You look like a scared <laughs> that's chihuahua. Not, that's not cold. It's actually and, quite comfortable. And meanwhile, you're just staying here like, this is fine. <laughs> it's not even, I don't know what you all... Uh, Logan, grab one of the jackets. I'm quite, Logan. I'm quite fine and he able to. He looks pale blue. <laughs> you're not okay. Grab a coat. Doctor's this is my order, natural inner a glow. No, no, come no, get no. a coat. He can take it. He can take it. Thank you. Thank you. My furry, my furry friend. <laughs> oh, dear. Detective. Oh, dear. Glow just look over his glasses. And yeah, Logan. you can see Logan's teeth chattering. <laughs> I'm totally fine. Be totally fine in a coat. I I have a jacket. It's nice. It's fine. I, I, I pack. Clear up. I don't. It may not be in my size. Logan. They have buddy size. They have your size. Uh, I mean, if they have buddy size, they most likely run small. Logan, 
please just put on a jacket? Oh, fine. Well, well, okay. Like, Logan will just... Uh, will it take an action? Will I have to... Yep. Oh, boy. Um. Yeah, Logan will It's better than jacket. getting more ordeal, dude. <laughs> it's fine. It's all right. And I'll... I'll uh, Put on, put on a jacket. All right, you'll have to be over here to do so. You'll have to be around the box. Okay, I'll use my movement, and then I'll use my action, and then I'll just <laughs> waste my turn. Cool, so cool. I All also right. feel that, dude. I wanted to cast <laughs> guidance, and I had to put on the jacket. <laughs> All right, that's it for me. Isla oh. just gives you the stink eye as you pass by. All right. It's fine, I don't understand that it's fine. Uh -huh. Eli. Uh, as you are looking over at the unit, uh, you are cur currently, um, you can kind of just see everything's kind of in like this, like almost programmer's code. Um, you, Since this is a power management system, uh, perhaps you can use this system uh, to manage some power. Whoa. That'll yeah. be a problem for like 12 seconds later, me. I'm going to go and get a code. Okay. You, uh, oh yeah, give me a constitution saving throw, please. I used, uh, press the You did, you, you are correct. You don't have to make any constitution saving throw. You go over there, you take an action to put on a coat. Here, one. All right, you're feeling, you're feeling pretty, pretty confident about the elements. You have a bonus action remaining. Uh, would I be able to use that to to do any of the power management or do at a disadvantage at a disadvantage yes. okay dash gets a jacket beep well what uh eli can you do me a favor and end your... I, it says he already did oh okay yeah it, it, it's not on my side so there we go finally updated Woo! uh dash gets a jacket uh, Dash gets the jacket. Uh, did you were you doing something to keep yourself warm last round? I had the torch. You let uh, me bonus action make a torch. You are off right. Of buddies. And then the torch kind of snuffs out, so you're good to go. And uh, yeah, you grab a jacket, place it on, and that's your action. You have a bonus action remaining. Um, can I grab a jacket for Pinchy? <laughs> uh, yes, you can. As a bonus action, you can pick up a, a jacket. Okay. I'll grab the I'll grab another jacket and start walking this way and hold the that's my that's the remainder of my movement. I'll walk uh, this way and be like, Pinchy, come on, put this on. Why? <laughs> Raises <laughs> <God damn it. laughs> I've already got a coat on. You want me to put more coats on? Yeah, I don't it's understand. Really cold. Pinchy, remember when we found you out in the fucking tundra and you were freezing to death? Put a goddamn eyes. coat on. <laughs> Walks over quietly, grabs coat, puts coat on. Dash smiles. Yeah, yeah. But next time, I'm I'm definitely going to attack this door. Well, looks at Eli. What um, is there anything that we can do to help you? I feel like we're just gonna wind up kind of watching you work here for a minute. Uh, if any of you know your way around shark terminals and uh, be my guest, just be sure not to lock any of them. Still got some crates over there if you want to check those. Uh, Eli will look around trying to find busy work. For the <laughs> Dash the... does a white person smile and is like, I won't touch anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hellebore. I guess I come up here and I look at these bot bottles, maybe? Mm -hmm. Question mark? Yeah, you look. Uh, the bottles uh, appear to be empty. Uh, do they have any labels as what could have been inside them? Nope. Plain empty bottles. I look at the other crates then. You, you, you immediately as an action knock a crate open. Uh, they are empty. Yeah, I got nothing. Uh, also, hmm, Hellebore. Yeah. Oh, were you doing anything to keep yourself warm? I have my coat on. 
Oh, that's right. You did immediately put a coat on. All right, everyone's good to go. Yeah. Uh, that's it for me. I guess I'll just go over here and stay out of the way then. All right. Uh, okay. So now that everyone has a coat on, uh, we can leave the high stress mode and now uh, go freely. So uh, in initiative is over. You guys are free to do uh, whatever you'd like at this point. This uh, sucks. <laughs> Dash will help open crates, I guess. Yeah, as you guys kind of like thoroughly look around, the crates themselves are empty. The only thing that seemed to have been were this covered crates over here and this power station over here. Uh, Eli, uh, what are you doing with uh, the power station? Uh, what can I do? Uh, can, I, can I see what's being routed where and why? Oh, well, you can make a shard hack uh, check your shard tools if you'd like. Uh, Isla's gonna stand up finally after warming up a little bit, and she's gonna put a hand on Eli's shoulder and cast Guidance. Okay. Alright. Uh, roll a 1d4. Beautiful. Okay, so uh, let me check here. Alright. Lights turned on, it's in low power mode, uh, along with the computer panels. Uh, you now have access to the power management controls with low power. Uh, so, uh, a couple of things of note. Uh, you will notice that you currently have one power, uh, so as you're like looking around, uh, this room, uh, for how much power it drains, uh, it currently has uh, one power unit. Uh, you can see how the power management is uh, routed. Uh, what it does is it takes power uh, from the, the the main location. So this must be some sort of like side room, you would imagine. Um, but it actually mm. takes uh, it right re rewrites power uh, from the main, uh, like like almost like like an en some either some sort of engineering department or some sort of power management station, some sort of power management uh, room. Uh, in a greater location. Um, with a 20, I will let you know that you currently have one unit within here. Now that you had now that you've hacked in, a 23 is sufficient to gain administrative access. With administrative access, you can increase the power allotment by one or decrease the power allotment by one. And there's currently one power unit uh, now in this room. But increasing it a lot us. It would give you an additional one, so it, it would up it to two. I mean, what, what exactly can I do with those? Ah, well, you would not be able to find that out here uh, in this system. You would have to go over to the computer panels. Mm. I disconnect. Uh, we're good? You, you can hear me? Yes. Yep. Okay, cool. Yeah. Awesome. So... Uh, yes, the power station itself. All this, all this machine does is just allocate power into the room. Uh, since you were able to successfully turn it on, uh, you have one power unit, and this power station uh, can increase the uh, units by one, or decrease uh, the units by one, as a as an action. And these are checks that you don't have to make anymore because you've already gotten the administrative access using the shard hacking tool. Uh, I will, just so we know now, Oop. go, second, Oop. and so there are, yeah, the computer pa panels are now lit. Our detective. Yes. I'm gonna set this up so it's it's gonna be a binary decision. I need you to either hit up oh, or down. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What does a binary decision in this case mean? Up or down. Okay, or continue. Minus. Right, no, all right, yes. I'm gonna go over I don't to wanna that. screw this up, I'm bad at it. You'll be fine. I'm gonna go over to that panel over there. Points. 
and I'm going to see what it takes to get these doors open. If I need more power, you hit up. If I need less power, you hit down. Oh, well, this shouldn't be bad at all. I can do that. You have all my faith. Eli will go over. Yeah, I'll switch places with you. Okay. Uh, you'll go over and immediately recognize the, compu- uh, the command panel. You can use a shard hacking tool check to see what uh, a- access you can get from this. I was gonna waddle. Never mind. You know what? Mm, Eli has it. Beautiful. I was gonna Eli's waddle. fine. All I right. was gonna waddle. Yeah. All right. I was just gonna waddle over, but nah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you immediately uh, get administrative access. Uh, with that, uh, you now have access to all the commands uh, in the computer. So, uh, the first command is to enable heating. Uh, this will start to heat the room, uh, and that will take up one power unit to turn on heating in the room. Uh, the power door, uh, power can be routed to the door so that the, the door will be able to open freely. That also takes one power unit. Uh, you can power the teleporter. That will also take up one power unit. Uh, and it currently, the way the teleporter works is that the teleporter is um, has a certain set of coordinates already entered. Um, you can figure this out pretty easily. This teleporter will take you back to the smuggler's den. Uh, now, you are able to change the teleporter destination, but that does require a serial key and administrative approval from the teleporter you're trying to link it to. So currently, this teleporter only links back to the den to take you guys back home. Um, But, yes, so you can, um, yeah, so uh, for one power unit, you can either enable the heating, uh, power the door, or power the teleporter. What would you like to do? Uh, Before that, can I see the list of other available teleporters, or is that locked? No, they're so they the um the tele there's no list of teleporters. Uh Actually, the yeah, teleporter the y- yeah, the teleporter is already configured. So it only configures to one location. It's paired right now with the teleporter uh mm-hmm. in the smuggler's den. But gotcha. you can change the configuration. You would just need to have another teleporter located. That's how these teleporters work. So it's so you only need it on the way out. Yeah. But yes. Gotcha. Um So the way these teleporters work, in case you ever decide to get it for your ship or like a a base of some kind, um, you get them as a pair of teleporters. And what what that does is you go, you teleport here, and this one teleports here. And to to change the configuration, you'd have to actually hack into it. So this just lets you know that you have the option to do that if you ever decided you need to do that in the future. Um, Otherwise, it's already configured to take you back to the smuggler's den. If it's active, but right now, uh, nothing is active in this room. I guess there's gotcha. no power. And we are all currently uninhibited by the cold. Yes. Uh, that is correct. You are all wearing jackets. Uh, it, with the belt pin, she's wearing a jacket as well. All right. I think I can get these doors open, but I want us to all be ready. We don't know what's on the other side. Yeah. Good call. Uh, Hellebore's currently doing grabby hands at Buddy because he wants to hold Fluffy Boy because warm. Focus, focus. Uh, <laughs> Yo, that 31, though. <laughs> oh. The, the cold has slowed down Logan's mind. <laughs> I just I just noticed it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just looked over at it and was like, what? <laughs> That's okay, Grandpa. Takes you back to your chair. <laughs> I started walking over to guidance and then immediately you turned and was like, no. Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to prepare a shotgun blast. Okay. The door. I'm gonna Just go in case there's anything then. bad there. Okay. All right, detective, would you hit up, please? Oh, just ah. so you are aware, uh, there is already a power unit floating. Oh, is there? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll just assign it to the door. Okay. One moment, please. All right. So a couple of things. I'm ready are, when you need me. A couple of things are going to happen. I shall pause for a moment. So, Standing by. <laughs> all right. 
Okay, so the door opens. I need some fucking pit. There we go. That's what I wanted. So, bo 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 bo. It's windy. It's very windy. And then I need to configure this map to do the following. Uh, do, 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 do. Make your global illumination enabled. Woo! I should be able to see everything. Okay. And then one moment, please. Sorry. There's a lot I have to configure to make this work. Do, do, do. Ah, that's right. I was looking at the wrong thing. Here we go. Psst. All right. So that opens up there. And yes, yeah, so the light uh, from the wind is immediately going. And then I just need to do this. All right. Oh, fun. A little snowflake. Hey, look, Cute. they don't come inside. That's good. Yep. Look at that. <laughs> so you're just watching as there's just these, these, just immediately everything, like everything is just, just going right now. Yeah. You just, uh, you can feel the, 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 the blizzard and the, and the winds just kind of blowing in there. And, uh, yeah, you, you are, you all are immediately feeling the, uh, the cold again. All right. Oh, and sorry. I have to check <sighs> one more thing. One more thing. Okay. <laughs> this one. Yeah, because you're no longer limited because you're outside. Oh. All right. So yeah, as you're looking out, uh, you immediately are are, are greeted uh, by a frozen patch of ice. You know, kind of watches like Pinchy can like walks out a little bit like he stabs through the door and he looks over and he says ah get it uh -oh. oh great uh -oh. <clears throat> the water's fine uh, uh -oh. it's frozen over a little bit that a little bit miserable oh Isla is not happy well <laughs> Dash goes outside <laughs> I'm going to punch yeah. the ground a couple of times to see uh -uh. if it's firm. Dash. Oh, it is super. You're just like, and yeah, you feel the, the impact of the cold ground, um, and it is firm. Come now, it can't be that bad. Let's just, you know what? Bad. No, it's terrible. Let's go back inside. It's yeah. okay. No, it's yeah. awful out there. This is the only way we can go, guys. We have to just Dash. do it. Yeah. Eli will point to the bottom right corner. Uh. And Piper. Goes to the bottom right corner. Uh uh. Hey. Nope. Come on, Pipes, we gotta do this. What's what's the plan then? What, what other options do we have? Mm. Uh, back, give back, 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 back. Right. Come on, come on. <laughs> They'll like Crawl crouch on. down. I'm crawling on, not looking. I'm not on, looking. Spider monkey. I'll carry him. Okay. Wait blessed okay let's go I'm gonna focus on something else while we're walking nowhere that's a good point Brett I'd like to cast a spell oh, what spell would you like to cast locate creature okay uh go ahead and link the spell yes sir good spell good spell good spell uh, describe or name a creature that is familiar to you. I would I would have it ping Loretta, and then if Loretta, because we're not really familiar with her, I would say Tiefling, because we did find out that her race was Tiefling. Understood. <clears throat> All right, so give me one second. 
Uh, you are not familiar with Loretta, so you mm-hmm. can't go that route, unfortunately. Uh, if you're looking for specific creatures known to you or the nearest creature of a specific time, such as human or unicorn, so long as you have seen such a creature up close within 30 feet at least once, the creature can describe a named a different form, such as that uh, the spell doesn't locate the creature. The spell can't locate the creature if running water at least 10 feet wide blocks a direct path between you. Wow, that's so interesting. It's so specific. <laughs> it's so yeah. specific. Uh, uh, yes, there is a tiefling to the northeast. I don't know if I'm supposed to give you exact locations, but yeah. It just says as long as it's within a thousand feet, I know the general direction. Yep. Uh, northeast is the closest. Northeast. Will be the closest, uh, tiefling. How high up are we? Uh, as you look, you're not that high up. Um, okay. it, oh, just kidding. Uh, yeah, I guess it's like a, a, a small cliff. <laughs> I know, I, I can't figure it out. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'd say it is a, just a small, steep, cle- uh, like, glacier cliff as you're kind of, like, looking down mm-hmm. at the frozen water below. Are we still on Europa? I'm going to peek down. Okay. Can I roll a perception to see if there's any giant monsters down Yeah, absolutely. Us? In that crystal blue. As you stare down, uh, you do not spot any terrifying <laughs> figures within the water. I know you're there. <laughs> I'm going to pull my hood over a little bit more and then light a cigar and kind of just try and keep out of the cold. Do my best to protect it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'll just kind of begin to feel as the cold is like even ev- the coats are doing their job, but the, the cold is definitely starting to to wear down on you. And then let me know what you guys are doing, or if there's any uh, descriptions I can give to you. Is this satellite look like it's kind of? Is it just stationary, like uh, pointing in the same direction? Uh, yeah, it's, it's it is currently uh at pointing up. Okay. <laughs> um, Isla puts on two more coats. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Isla now has three coats on. <laughs> Sweet baby. She, she she is round, and uh, she waddles out. She she is. She is just a big old bundle of coats right now, um, and is trying to walk. So as you as you're approaching to the north, you will see what I can only describe is this big metal box, and it's safe to assume that this is a a large fort of some kind. Eli, yeah, there's a satellite up here. Do you think if we disable it, they won't be able to call for reinforcements? Oh, uh, hang on. Uh, bear with me. The I think it might be the effect that is killing my. Oh yeah, it's a, to get... It's gonna it's it's gonna lag a little bit while you're out here. So what browser are you using, Snake? Uh, Firefox. Uh, switch to Chrome if you can. I was on Firefox. It did the same <clears throat> thing, and it's fine on Chrome. One second, please. Yeah, be a hardware acceleration, I think, without that on. Correct. Yes, yeah. Also, this is a very big map. Oh, yeah, I just, oh my god, yeah. I just zoomed out. Holy Let's shit. Let's go ahead and zoom out oh, for no. the viewers at home. Oh, oh my oh, god. Yeah. It lags if I try to zoom out. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty big. I told you guys, you're probably going to be here for a few sessions. <laughs> That's okay. I've got that default DM excitement of, oh boy, big dungeon delve. <sighs> Why am I still cold when I'm dead? This sucks. Yeah, this does suck a bit. Dash pats Piper's hands while they walk. It makes you feel any better. I pipe. It makes you feel any better. I didn't see anything in the water. 
Yeah, that helps a lot. You know, part of the problem is not seeing the bottom, you know? Oh, it's mostly more the same on the way down. <clears throat> what are you doing, Isla? Isla's peeking at the satellite. She's just looking at it. If there's any, like, doohickeys on it or anything. <laughs> Uh, I love a doohickey. Uh, uh, several uh, big wires seem to be going in and out of it. One from the small chamber over here, and the other into the big, uh, the big fort that is there. You will also notice a door. Eli, can you control any of this stuff from the computer in there? I I didn't see access to it back and check again. There's wires going both ways. It's the only reason why I was thinking so. Uh yeah, no, fair a, point. As you get over here, uh, you kind of see the uh the satellite stand. Uh, what would you like to do? Uh, is there any way to interface with it from here? Absolutely. Feel free to make a shard hack check. Hmm. Well, let's oh, there see. is something. All right, perfect. So God, as I love Eli days. So as you, <laughs> as you are looking uh, into the satellite, uh, there's no way to actually interface with anything of it there. Um, but you do have a general understanding of what this is. Uh, this satellite dish functions as a low priority radio signal um, for uh, those uh, within the area. So this this actually is sort of like the radio communication for those within an isolated location, probably either a walkie-talkie system or some sort of communication. Uh, it is a minor communication dish. Uh, it doesn't really reach out, um, but keeps communication going from within. Safe to assume probably the fort. It's probably the fort's communication back and forth with each other. This is a short-range satellite. If, if they're talking to each other, we can either listen in or I can cut it off. Dealer's choice. Eavesdropping is always better than us not being in the know. If we cut it suddenly, they might think something's up too, so... Yeah. We can always try and come back and cut it if we get caught. Eli will help bring out one of the burner phones. Mm-hmm. Am I able to patch into any frequencies with that thing? Um, so, with a 30, I would say, yes, you can. Give me one moment, though. Oh, time for some freaking, dude. I have to take, I have to take a look. This is where we're going to find out all of the guards are actually really wholesome, talking about their families over the radio. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't say that. I love my mom. <laughs> Can't wait to go see my kid when I get back. What are you guys getting your sisters for Shardmas? <laughs> uh, okay, so you are hearing just a menagerie of uh, of of speech with each other, and you're going to need to tone it down a little bit. So, okay, um, so oh my god, there's actually a lot of room. Hold on, so Okay. Um, oh. I have to move some things over. Oop. All right. So currently there are eight channels. Uh, which one would you like to listen to? Start from the top. All right. So starting with channel one, um, you're just kind of hearing some, some silence, no chatter. Uh, two, silence, no chatter. Uh, three, you'll hear. <laughs> so you'll hear, uh, what, what? So I haven't actually asked this it yet in, in phase three, which is amazing. Uh, what languages do you know? I'm an <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh. You do not recognize the language that is being spoken in, uh, three on channel I three. I don't remember what languages Dash knows. I'm going to check. 
Uh, Dash knows common and dwarvish. That tracks. Anyone recognize what's being said here? I'm looking at everyone's language currently. I see. I literally only know common. What the uh, heck, Isla? Not typical on my... humans, <laughs> right? <laughs> God, uh, so it's not none all about you, us, you know. None of you identify the language being spoke. Okay. It's not on my character sheet because I, but it is on my notes because when I, we were making characters, you said if people had over a certain int, they could pick other proficiencies or other right. languages. Right. So I picked abyssal and infernal. Oh, ho, ho. Elibor recognizes the language. Oh shit. Oh my God. <laughs> I had to pick like creepy languages cause family creepy. Uh, infernal. Ah. <laughs> Nice, 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 nice. Uh, so, uh, Hellebore, you'd hear the radio frequency. Um, you would hear, well, What's the status of the rejuvenation tank? We're going to need some more time. This is a very delicate process. We don't want to ruin the fluid. Uh, fine, but just hurry up. Damn medbots on the fritz. He will translate all of that. Alright. You're speaking in Infernal. Huh. So, more than one tiefling, maybe? Oh, or... god damn it. Probably. <gasps> Dash recognizes the next language from Channel 4. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> this is Dwarvish. You'll hear... You'll hear yeah, we sent one of the interns down to the droid repair repair station. Apparently the droid's being built is causing quite a bit of issue. Oh, very well. How's the power supplies over here at the engine room? It's doing good. Should be ready for Loretta's uh, departure. How much time does she have? I don't know, ask security. Very well. I'm gonna continue to do some maintenance here on the cells. Roger. Yeah, I think, um... Dash probably isn't like super super fluent, so he he kind of like muddles through translating it, but um, it gets the point across. You will hear that channel six is encoded. So all you hear is like just like you will actually hear like uh, just like disturbances <clears throat> like a cipher? of or? noises, yeah, so that you can't actually hear through it. It seems to be an encoded channel at uh, channel mm -hmm. six. Interesting. Channel seven, uh, funny enough, all you hear is the sound of the wind, the, the blizzard that you currently are hearing here, but over the, uh, over, over the, um, over the radio. And then eight um, on channel eight, you will hear <laughs> this will also be in Dorvish, but this is like, <laughs> this is clumsy Dorvish, like Dash speaking Dorvish. Okay. You know, you'll hear, uh, Loretta need time for ship ready for departure. Give us two hours. Oh, I understood that really well. <laughs> Huh. What do they say? Translates. Oh shit, we gotta go. Like, yeah. fast. we gotta do fast. Sounds like whatever's happening, it's gonna happen pretty soon here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Let's get this door. Where's Logan? Logan! Yes! Where are you? I'm, a, I, I'm exploring! Don't... Uh, don't do explore! <laughs> it seems fairly innocuous. I'm just around the corner! <laughs> right, I gotta go You're with the come across carried. like a broken ice pocket, fall in. Oh, okay. hello there. Uh-huh. He's over what? here. I was, I was just exploring. I wanted to get the lay of the land, that's all. If you're the going to explore, land let us. us know. I mean, I can only explore so much. It's just a straight path here. 
We don't know what's around corners. We couldn't see you, Logan. Well, uh, that's why I want to investigate. Please. I'm very sneaky. Really You're going to die like that one of these days. I hope you know that. Eh, we all die. That'd be an exciting way to go. Oh, I'd prefer if you didn't die while we're trying to do something, Logan. As somebody who's died, I can say 8 out of 10, don't recommend. Alright. Once we go through here, we're pushing until we get to this, this lady, right? What's our plan when it comes to people working here? Are we knocking we, them out? Are we killing them? Are we only we killing people that aim guns? Who what? Sorry, I'm listening. Look, I'm saying, do we go in there slaughtering? I mean, it sounds like some of the people work it, they're just... I don't think so, right? I like body parts, what? <laughs> no. If we can avoid it, we probably should. But... We might not have a choice. I don't think, just listening to those comms, I don't think a lot of the people here are fighters or combat trained at all. They're just brought into work on machinery and things. Then we don't kill them. I think if they don't engage with us, we shouldn't engage with them, right? That's... Fair. What? I wish every prod had your nuance. Alright. Let's get this door open then and let's, uh... Let's go after this bitch. Hellebore will give a general point in the direction that he's sensing that he is tiefling from. Woohoo! It's that way. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> Chris Pratt? <laughs> no! no. <laughs> I shoot Dash. Uh, so is this, is this door completely closed? <laughs> Uh, yes, as you, it, it is, it's supposed to be an automatic opening door, uh, but you will actually see that it is just, yeah, it is, it is, it is sealed. Um, is there an obvious way to open it? Uh, it's safe to assume the door is locked, but that's okay because someone could probably hack through it. Thank you, face. If only we had someone. Is there a if terminal only... with which to access the door? No. <laughs> no. I'll see what I can do from the other room. <laughs> oh, Thanks, uh, Eli. Uh, Eli, just so you are aware, uh, the power and con control panel from over inside this room uh, is only powering this room. Uh, nothing of that control panel would actually activate this. If you're looking to hack open the door, all you have to do is uh, it, the door should be powered. Uh, simply shard hack the door. On second thought. <laughs> About face. Doubles back. On second thought. <laughs> nah. Guidance? Can claw, Loretta claw. look like... I'm sure that you already have art for her. Yes. But can Loretta just look like Chris Pratt? Sure. No. <laughs> no. Sure. I can get a Why crusty not? JPEG of Chris Pratt. I can make that happen. Great. Yeah, just put some horns on it. Yeah. No, I'm just, <laughs> just, just Chris Pratt. Cool, thanks, guys. <laughs> and we see my last one here is, It's a me, Loretta. Uh, yeah, so go ahead and make a shard hack. That's infernal. I'm this kneeling down, shopping. Okay. This is guidance, right? Yes. Mm. All right. God, he's so Man, good! I, a common Eli win. Nice. Eli doesn't need no guidance. He's got this all on his own. Okay. Realize that I'm screwing this up a bit. One second. 33 is not enough. Hey, 33 is not enough. Uh, <laughs> <we're going> on. <laughs> the DC was actually 40. Sorry. Give me one second. I realized because of what's about to happen, I actually. Oh. We're opening up right into the mess hall. <laughs> There's just hundreds of them <laughs> sat there. They all look up. <laughs> Aww. What? <laughs> what do you think they eat here? 
fish. fish. A lot of popsicles. <laughs> fish popsicles. A lot of canned food. A lot of canned food. All right. So as you open the door, uh, you'll be greeted by several, uh, several smugglers uh, to the north. Uh, who are alerted and surprised by your presence. Uh, so good work. You de definitely did that. Does the shotgun go off? No, I wouldn't shoot it unless I'm like, we're clearly being aimed at. Okay, so um, with that, I will be rolling initiative. Oh no. Oh my God, they're more cobalts. <laughs> Knock I feel out. bad for all, look at them. Somebody's made a they good point in chat. Pets. I hope that there's an ice cream brand uh, somewhere in IO uh, that's just called Popsicles. Stop. And it just, oh, and it just has both. And it just God. has both of these as like the logo. Nice. I want that to be a thing. All right. Uh, so I just go ahead. And this. Can I figure oh out? Oh my God! I'm always so low. In this. It's well, fine. I. I'm about to re-roll because I need to make sure, I need to see if I can actually uh, roll advantage on roll initiative. So hold on a Come on, Dash. Come on, Come Dash. On, Dash. You, should be able to, you, you rolled it for me, uh, advantage. The thing the thing is like, you have that by default. Oh, it's baked in, okay. Yeah, so that that's the, that's the difficulty. Okay, so here's what I will do. Uh, I'm going to roll. Okay, okay, you know what? Let's do it this way. Let me, I'm gonna delete the initiative one more time. I swear to God, I'm gonna get like a one now. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Probably will. Uh, so that's the initiative I'm rolling. There it is. <laughs> oh <laughs> my God. Uh, so uh, Buddy's already uh, I'm seeing you down here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Buddy's already uh, initiative rolled. Uh, by the way, uh, chat room. If if anyone knows how to roll advantage on initiative, uh, feel free to let me know. But uh, like over in like the bio suggestions or boundary suggestions or whatever. Uh, but I am going to double check something really quick. Hellebor, what's your dexterity plus two? Yes. <clears throat> okay, so that's going to be your initiative. Uh, Logan, what's your dexterity? Yeah, five? Plus five? I, honest to God, I don't know. I have a 20. I don't know. What All to, right. I don't know what it means. <laughs> uh, we're going to update Logan to a 21. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, going down. Uh, I've already checked for Hellebore. Pinchy. Is this initiative stuff? Yes. I have an initiative plus 10, too, as well. Does that matter? Plus 10? What the fuck? That's what it says. It says I'm initiative alert? plus 10. Or, because yeah. of my abilities. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, let me go. So your initiative is actually going to be a 26, then. Okay. Ooh, wait. He's so fast. Diesel? Man. Uh, <laughs> uh, no! You activated him. Put him back, put him back. Put him back. No. No. <laughs> it's too late for you. <laughs> <laughs> I give everybody big keys. <laughs> no. Yo, weren't you on like D&D &D Beyond and I saw Jesse Cox, Cheezle, and I went, what the Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, anytime I do charity anything, I bring out Cheezle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The world needs to know. That little boy has love to give. Geezies for you. I have geezies for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Dash, your six has become a 13. Oh, sick. Nice. Still at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> and then Isla. Hello, 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 yes. Your five becomes a nine. God Ooh, damn it. Yeah, <laughs> I thought that she was. I'm still where I was. Sorry. Sorry about that. It's fine. I'll just have that 17 in my heart. It's fine. Music time. Ooh. Now that you finally have entered the fort. All right, we could do a round. Uh, Logan, what are you doing? All right, I am, I mean, I do have a clear shot and these are 100% a threat to us. They like are similar to the previous ones. I mean, yeah, but they, they look armed. They definitely look surprised. They're, they're all like turning Great. around right now. Aww. I'm going to make the wild assumption. Oh, also, uh, before yes. we begin, 
Uh, one of you, if you would like, because you caught the jump on that, not only does everyone get banished to initiative, um, uh, prepared action, uh, which is being held back by Buddy, uh, one of you can take a surprise action. Right now. But only one of you. But only one of you. So talk amongst yourselves. Um, should the surprise action be given to someone who has to actually be in the room to do anything? Say a surprise action let Buddy actually move into the room. Yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah. That would yeah work. Agreed. Okay. Yeah, Buddy, go ahead and uh, you can take if you'd like to do that. Uh, you can take the dash action as a surprise action to to, to run on in. Yeah, I do that. Um, 20, 25, 30, and then I think I think my movement speed is. A little bit more than 30, isn't it? Um, 35, right? I think so. I think I get a little bit more because of the... 35 was, was uh, my last character. Uh, Weren't you like 40 or something? Yeah, yeah I, I was 40 as well, but it says 30 now for some reason. Yeah, I don't know what the heck happened. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll update that now. I'm going to rush straight in over here um, and dash all the way that way. Okay. Uh, are you going to... Get your shotgun off or no? Uh, no, I'm gonna. Uh, if I spend my action doing that uh, as a free action, I'm just gonna say. Everyone, put your hands in the air. Drop anything you've got. Give him a little chance. Okay. Uh, Logan. Uh, I'd like to roll my insightful fighting. Okay. Uh, on this dude right here. Just so, since no one's directly next to him, I can get off some stuff. That's insight. Okay. I guess I roll against his deception? <laughs> it would probably be... Okay, so give me one second. It's been a minute, and my memory sucks. Uh, insight, yep. Uh, check against the target's deception. If you succeed, you can do sneak attack. Uh, I'll be rolling at a disadvantage. Yeah! Yeah, yeah! All right. What? <laughs> it turns over. All right. And then uh, I'm going to take a shot from back here. <laughs> I love funny Through the door. I love it. Buddy's oh, like, no. hold your hands up in the air. <laughs> and that's you just see a headshot oh, to the goal <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Roll an right. advantage, please. Shift click. I love our detective. <laughs> all All right. <laughs> Hands up in the air. What? <laughs> ah! <laughs> We're under attack. Uh, and then, yeah, and then I'll do my sneak attack as well. Yeah, let's see it. Uh, 13 points of damage. Yep, that'll do. Oh, oh my god. They do. He's yeah, Logan shouts, standing. come out with your hands up! <laughs> <laughs> Logan! <laughs> And uh, I guess that is my turn. All right. So, uh, the <laughs> let me just see if I can actually go on that screen. I can't. Okay. All right. So you'll watch as this <laughs> this guy. <laughs> We're under attack. Five, ten. No, no. Uh. Fifteen, twenty. Slams his <laughs> hand on the red button. <laughs> 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 And you're just gonna watch. You're just gonna hear Whoa. as all these doors just uh, lock. And uh, yeah, so we're definitely gonna. Let me do this. We do this. <laughs> yep. Yep. Let me, let, me, yep. Uh, let me let me do one of these. Yep. Dash is like, that's fair. We deserve that. Yep. 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 All right. Ooh, I like this. <laughs> And oh, gonna, cool. Yo, these... that bottom one is fabulous. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> What's going on over here? <laughs> Yo, that light. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Yeah. Yeah. Happy, Happy Pride, Pride Month. Month. Happy Pride, <laughs> Happy Pride, Pride Month. Pride 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 Wait, look, it's the gaydar. Oh my god, what the? It's the gaydar. No, hold on. Here we go. Now, Why Happy Pride, 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 Pride Month. Pride. Pride. Hey. Hey. Celebrating the boys for Pride Month, Brett. Oh, They're yeah. really feeling it. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, I like that Logan's half. <laughs> yeah, why am I halfway in there? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to imply about me? <laughs> All right, so uh, shit's gone crazy now, um, buddy. You're just hearing like the alarm right. going off. 
I'm gonna inject one of my rage adrenaline shots. And then, uh, let me see, how close is the red? Ah, that guy, okay, I'm gonna go. I'll go right behind this guy. Ah, oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'll say, I'm gonna hurt you, then I'm gonna knock you out. And I'm just gonna slice him a couple of times first. <laughs> 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 Toss your corpse out in the frozen wastelands, you'll die real slow. Uh, yeah, that all hits. Uh, 10, 20, 31 points of damage. What? What's going on? Oh, oh, I'm bleeding. Oh, I'm bleeding. You'll survive. <laughs> I'm just gonna then, uh, I think oh my that's my God. bonus my action, and then I'm just gonna. <laughs> that I kill him. Yep. I'm gonna wait there, and I'm gonna end my turn there. Uh, okay. Uh, this guy. I'll go ahead and enter. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. You're good, you're good, you're good. Uh, uh, this guy over here is just going to be like, he's not going to survive! Pew, pew, as he starts shooting at you. Uh, okay, so that will be a uh, critical hit, seven points of damage. And uh, your mm -hmm. ace, the 15 will not beat your AC. I've also got my shield on the mouse, so I should, my AC should be eight. Oh, okay, good enough. Uh, let me go ahead and get your shield up. Wait, your, your shield's already on. So where, why do you have only 16 AC? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, hmm. You're in half plate too. Hmm. Shouldn't be that. I think it's 18 when I have my shield. Sure. What am I missing here? What's going on here? Armor class. Yeah, it, wait. Oh, it's, it's because you're no, uh, uh, no, no, no. So you don't get constitution added because you're wearing armor. The constitution bonus is when you're unarmored, right? Yeah. So you're. Ha is, does half plate half plate give one? Half plate is heavy armor, so it doesn't. You don't add your dex. Wait, no. Half plate is medium. Medium, yeah. Give me one second. Let me see what the let me see what the hell's going on here. I'll get you an answer. Half plate. He's at the H word. Give me a second. Let's see what the heck's going on. Oh my god, he said it again! Half plate <laughs> 15. Oh Jack. yeah, plus I should have 19 then, right? Yeah, you should you should be good to go. What happened here? Max dex modifier 2. So why the hell is it saying 16? Base 10? Oh. Oh, you know what? I've got unarmored defense. Hold up. Oh, that's right. That's yeah, what yeah. it is. Yeah. That's the wrong one! That's the wrong one. That was the wrong one. Uh, anyways, yeah, so that's going to be 12... Uh, 15, 14. Okay, so you will still take seven points of damage. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't ah. change. <laughs> I'm gonna let you live. I swear I'm gonna let you live. Drop <laughs> the fucking gun. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and grant inspiration to this guy. Oh, also, before I forget, you have inspiration because of that booty oh, contest. Yeah. All right, uh, that ends the smuggler's round. Hellebore, it's your turn. Teleport immediately, oh. you just watch the door open after three seconds. Just, <laughs> didn't, we didn't even get a chance to stealth. I hate I hate it. I see this guy all the way in the back that looks fluffy that hit the thing. Yep. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him with firebolt. He looks so proud of himself. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him with firebolt. He looks flammable, so I'm gonna hit him with firebolt. I did so good. I like to think that was his only job here, was to press the red button. I pressed the button. <laughs> uh, Ooh. Let's see. ten points of damage. Oh my gosh! And then anything. Let's flam us the spell ignites of anything that's flammable on him. <laughs> ah, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I just like to add that. All right, uh, I'll wait till you guys go in ahead of me. I'll stay back here. That's it for him. I'll attack the door. The door's open, Pinchy. Oh. <laughs> you points. Points at the big guy, rushes over. That's the end. Uh, and then, uh, as a legendary action at the end of Pinchy's turn, uh, this brute is going to uh, hold it on to this maul 
uh, is going to slam down on Pinchy. That's a miss. And that's a miss. God, it's terrible rolls. Oh, that's our bug. Uh, Eli, yeah. it is your turn. Uh, doctor, hold still. Eli's going to uh, search for the bag of holding on Hellebore's person. Okay. Easily found. It's just like sticking off of him. And Eli is going to uh, rifle around, grab something, and drag out Amity. Hmm. Let's go! That is your action. Amity Bam. gets to work. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Uh, as a bonus action, what would you like to do? I don't know if I have. Let me see. Yeah, I think that'll be it. Okay. Um, you do know as a bonus action, you can command Amity, right? Well, that that was, uh, I'm sending her in to... Oh, to go. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. you just commanding her to go in. Okay, so... Five, 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 she has 40. Okay. Uh, do you have control of her or no? I do. Okay. So that's 30 already. Okay. I don't have sight with her, though. That's okay. Unless, uh, do you have an ability that says you have sight with her? You can see no, through her? No, that's just gonna, uh, complicate things with moving her. Yeah, uh, when, when, at that point, that's when I would have to take action, because you gotcha. can't see through what she sees, unfortunately. Sure. Um, all right, so the smuggler brute, <laughs> in complete anger, attacks again. It's... And hits. All right. So, oh, and I totally forgot. The two misses uh, still does a little bit of damage to Pinchy. Uh, eight damage to be. Uh, what? Yep. Bug. Is it okay. grazing? Grazing, yep. And then 20, 60, 15. What's my AC? 16. We're good. Uh, okay, so another 14 points of damage. And then another four points of damage from the missed attack. As this guy's just swinging wildly with the maul, uh, he seems to like it, it, his. Uh, even when he this guy misses, uh, he seems to still be able to make some sort of contact. Uh, one second, please. I was hoping to disable or delete. There we go. Perfect. All Could right. Grazing only apply if he misses, right? That is correct. Okay. Uh, uh, Dash, it is your turn. Uh, sorry if I missed it. <laughs> is Hellebore still on my back? Hellebore? I say we probably got. He probably got down. It's a bonus action. Okay. <laughs> I run in then without worrying that I'm gonna get my boyfriend killed. Okay. Uh, that was okay. I'll get here. Um, cast Shield of Faith, please. Okay. Oh, wait. I can do that. Beep. Come on. Thank you. You're shielded. Um. That's a bonus action. Uh. You're, you're shielding. You're facing. You got 21 AC. I know. I can't reach him. From you love here. your boyfriend. Life's good. Actually, I think it should be more than 21 AC because you got the plate armor on now. Ooh, let's uh, let's plate armor on now. Let's do take a look at that inventory, shall we? Oh, chainmail, stinky poo poo. Uh, ew, yucky. Ew, yucky. And then let's do plate. Plate mail, yummy, chaotic. <laughs> One moment, please. <laughs> I feel like it's the opposite of chaotic. To where I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> the most ordered thing Shh, you can do. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Takes all armor off. Actually chaotic now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You wear plate, but only on the top half. <laughs> yeah. Your AC's 23. Oh, Yay! Wow. Yum, yum, yum. Um, Yummy in my tummy. Mm -mm. Okay, sorry, I don't have my cheat sheet with me. Uh, okay. Can I, um, can I assist Pinchy in any way? Aside uh, from intercepting, no. can I do the help action for him? No, no. 
Then I will, can I hold my action? Uh, yeah, what would you like to hold it to? I'll hold my action in case this guy gets within range. And if he does, then I'll dave him. You'll slam him? Yeah. Right. And otherwise I'll just hold to intercept. And that's my turn. Beep. Okay. <laughs> Bleeding, holding out, just gaping wounds. <laughs> I'm what? not gonna kill you. Why are you freaking out so bad? <laughs> <laughs> what? What the fuck's wrong with you? Shouldn't you be on our side or something? Uh, uh. What do you mean by that? You know, because the points at your face, points at his face. Motherfucker, I'm not a cobalt. <laughs> we gotta look at what? You're not a cobalt. <laughs> what do you think? I'm some sort of fat cobalt. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> Oh my god. Ugh. Wait, are you not? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. I don't know. Surprise stab! Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> I can't oh, stab. Dash, you distracted me! <laughs> 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 eh, eh. Stabs you repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> eh, come on! Come on, you fat fuck! Come on! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, right, maybe oh my god, he's so aggressive! Oh my god. <laughs> he's bleeding. <laughs> Is that all you got? Coughs up blood. Uh, Isla. Okay, uh, remind me, can monks attack on a bonus action? Uh, with, with uh, as an offhand attack, yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm but, gonna take a little peeky in here. Uh, that's 10 feet of movement. Excellent. Yeah, I'm gonna just pop. Oh, come on. Stupid walls. Okay. It doesn't let me just go over there. So that's 30, 10. Yeah, I can I can make it. Boop. Right there. Mm -hmm. Uh Isle is going to Flames of Rage so she can have her rage back. Okay. Uh and then bonus action spiritual strike. Wow, oh, honey. Oh, I'm no. doing I'm doing great today, guys. <laughs> I'm doing wonderful. You are doing great because you're great. Oh, bless. Thank you. That means <laughs> yeah. so much, but that doesn't help me hit him. <laughs> uh, inspiration mm -hmm. has been given uh, to the smuggler group. No. Oh! the rough right. run, man. Cool. Well, that's it. All right. And before we begin round two, that's where we'll wrap up today's session of Oh, Red damn. Beats. Thank you so much for playing. Hey. Hey. We started the session in danger, and we're ending the session in danger. What you guys? What you guys think? You excited to be here for a while? <laughs> yeah. I'm excited yeah. to be nervous. Very I excited. scrolled out, and I'm realizing... Look how small we are in this map. Yep. Yeah, tiny. we're very small. E it's such a dangerous experience. We've got two hours, exciting. right? Uh, you have two hours, that is correct. At least locate creatures given us a little bit of a direction. Oh, yeah, wait. that uh, helps. Beep, 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 beep. Brett, can you yeah. put a, a concentration thing on my token just so I don't forget for next uh, session? Are you concentrating on this spell? Oh my. Yes, I have to concentrate on it. <laughs> God, yes, absolutely. Oh, that's unfortunate. Please don't get yeah. hit. Also, yeah. uh, dudes, make a make a note of your prepared uh, action. Yes, Poo. Because I will oh. remember. Um, just also as a note, I just saw that Buddy actually took damage. Um, Buddy also has 14 temp health. That's Ooh. what happened. We, oh, we all yeah, have temp we all health. have the yum yum. That's what happened. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I that thought, means I thought, one temp health. I thought I was, uh, I thought I was lagging. So I was like, how come his hit points isn't going mm. down? Oh, yeah, it was temp health. I forgot it was the temp health. In nice. that, that means I haven't even taken damage yet. Correct. Well, Real damage, true damage. So you're not mad at me. <laughs> I'm pissed. <laughs> no. I'm writing that down in my notes. <laughs> uh, that is correct. Let me go ahead and give 14. Oh, wait, you chose who you gave 14 to, correct? Yeah, main party, six. Oh, so you you, you gave it to everyone? Yeah. Okie dokie. Yeah. Except for Pinchy, right? 
Yeah, sorry, Pinchy. <laughs> he can take it. Look, he you can, you can forego, forego me and give it to Pinchy instead. I would have been okay with that. Guess I'll die. No. <laughs> but you're so squishy. If you if you get hit, I'll then you will die. I'll be fine if you get it. I take it. Guess I'll die. Well, Pinchy wouldn't you, like me you? to do that anyway. Pinchy's like, I don't need like, help what? at all. You think I'm not a warrior? Yeah, you exactly. You think I'm a warrior? <laughs> Can't you would complain anyway? <laughs> I'm dying. Uh, my back is killing me. All right, let's uh, let's do bingo. Yeah, bingo, bingo. bingo. I love bingo. I love bingo, dude. Bingo. Assuming that I can get the share screen to pop up with my weird ass internet. I'm glad we got through the session with minimal, minimal yeah. hiccups. Barely any drops. Yeah. yeah. Three. I'm still fucking thinking about the rainbow and the gay beat. That was Dude, so good. it's so good. Uh, which... The... Be real quick. Swap your app... I... What do you mean swap my application? Uh, which screen is up right now? Is it this one? Uh, it's just stream paused. Yeah. How the fuck do I unpause? This I, is minimized, apparently. My stream? Oh. Uh, the one you were restreaming to us. Says it's oh, okay. Give me, <clears throat> give, me a, give me a second. Oh, man. Let me try and load again. I might not be able to share screen today. And if that's the case, I'm sorry. I know yeah. hard work acceleration doesn't let you share on if you're trying to share Chrome. What if I share screen? It should work with screen. It Chrome still says it's, it. it's just it just says swap your application to resume. Yeah. Dude. I don't I think stream. I don't think I'll be able to. Well, it's, we've only got a couple of minutes, so um, yeah, uh, I guess I guess we'll do just just watch stream and then we'll do. We're, we're we were always gonna do fan art next time anyway, so uh, just because we want to maximize on today's session. Uh, where the heck? All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and do a little a little bingo, and we'll read everything off. Okay, and you guys can watch stream for that. Uh, there was a nat twenty. Loretta gets possessed slash corrupted. Interesting. Uh, oh. hello. Hellebore personality switch? No. Extreme environment fishing? No. Freezing to death <laughs> RP? Yes. Yep. The shadow's influence is felt in some form? No. Dash uses divine sense? Yes. Yes. Buddy flexes his eating challenge W to anybody who isn't in isn't the DB group. What? No. No. Oh. Uh, a set of tools gets broken? No. The journey in Southern Ishtar gets brought up? No. 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 You guys have been in a lot of frosty areas, though. Uh, Eli Hackerman moment. Yep. Wait, it's Yo, kind of what? Wait, 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 what? what? Yeah, I did. Because we talked with Pin with Pinchy. About oh, yes, Pinchy you are right. You are correct. Uh, Eli Hackerman moment. Yes. Pinchy tries to act tough in the cold. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but say as a fellow bird enjoyer, I think it was ever established. What's Isla's favorite bird? Oh my god. Um, 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 peacock. Windows 98. The middle <laughs> finger. I, Joe, I will fight you. Oh my god. Windows 98. Uh, magic spells to stay warm doesn't work for some reason. It did. It did work for a little bit. Uh, buddy tries to brute force the escape room puzzle. Nope. No <laughs> combat this session. Nope. Talent encounter part two. Nope. Best friend drama it, it, with Dash and Pinchy. Uh, no, I don't think so. No. No water based Eldritch <laughs> thing. We did have a nat one. Somebody I goes. I got a zero. Somebody, yeah. Somebody goes crawling to the uh, vents. No news for everyone. Mechanics gets introduced. I mean, kind of. It's not new. Yeah, though. yeah. 100%. Yeah. I feel like it's, yeah, I feel like it's a really cool thing. You were going to freeze us to death. Oh, yeah, that's right. You know what? <laughs> that was a new survival mechanic. You're right. More robots attack the group. No. A person from somebody's past makes Pierce. No. And Dash's claustrophobia kicks in. No. It didn't have to because it was immediately it light. Close. Yeah. Thank goodness. <laughs> so, no. Nope. This is the furthest away from a bingo we've ever been. Yeah. 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 We washed. It happens to the best of us. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much. We will be off next week, but the following week on the 22nd, we will be back uh, for more of this 
lovely delve. I can already season three is gonna be a long one. I can tell you right now because of everything that's going on with your group, and I'm very excited. So Yay. thanks again, and I'll see you all the next time. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.